when I was around six years old, I saw a TV commercial that changed my life. The Micro Machine Super Bang City. After watching that commercial, I went directly to my dad and told him that for this Christmas, I wanted Santa to bring me the Superman City with the whole Micro Machines collection. Needless to say, Santa didn't bring me the whole Micro Machines collection, but he brought me the Superman City and one blister pack with Micro Machines. Now you will ask yourself, why am I listening to this story? Well, the reason is that because in that moment was when I started my collector life with that Superman City and with that blister pack of Micro Machines. I still have the Superman City, but it's a bit old, and some of the cards that I receive in that blister pack. Toys or collectibles are the reason why this channel exists. So basically, I'm just explaining you the origins of the channel. After opening a bunch of Tarmar Works, Hot Wheels, and Disney and Pixar cars, I think that it's time that we go back to the beginnings. But we are not going to go to the Micro Machines of the 80s and 90s, but we are going to go back to the newer release, the newest era of Micro Machines, that is a collaboration between Hasbro and Jazzwares. The first videos on this channel are actually the Series 1 released by Jazzware in 2020. I'm going to leave the links in the description and also they will be popping up in the corner whenever a reference is necessary. So this week we are coming back to that Series 1, but opening a Super 20 collection. If you like these little guys, then stay, because today in your collectibles, we have Micro Machines unboxing. Oof, it was a long intro. I hope that you're still here. Let's just start with the, with the design of the box, that it's quite in line with the general design of the Series 1. Here in the left, you can see the dimension of the five exclusive vehicles that are only included in the set. And then in the back, you can see the, the whole content of the box. Uh, as I said, these are the five exclusive vehicles and it means that this livery or color scheme, whatever you want to call it, has been released only in this pack. The difference to these ones, these 15, uh, the, the models were released with the color scheme, with the design, they were released before in other sets, so probably they, will be, they won't be new to you. Uh, but let's already go to the open part because mine, my box, as you can see here, came already uh, open. But it really doesn't mind because all the cars came in their individual bags. So let's just pull the content out. And uh, say nothing else in the box. Here we have the Series 1 checklist that I will open. In previous videos, we have seen this checklist. So. If you have been in the channel, it will not be a surprise. On this side, you have the single packs. These were actually blind bags with just one car each. And here you see the starter packs. There were four uh, packs that had included three cars each, with the exception of this one that has a trailer with one car. And here below, you can see the ultra rares in gold and the rares in silver. And on the other side, you see the world packs. There were at least three world packs with five cars each. And of course, some of the cars that were included in the play sets. Here you can see some others. And then after making sure that the box is completely empty, we move to the 20 cars. I'm going to start showing you the ones that were released in other packs before. And we are going to leave the five exclusive ones for the end. This happy car was originally released in the single blind packs of the Series 1. I have another version of Elise that was included in the Super Van CD release in 2020. In case you didn't know, Jasper released a new Super Van CD in 2020 and originally included three vehicles on the set. But after a while, Amazon released a new pack of the Super Van CD with 12 vehicles. And in those 12s was this version, this exclusive version of the Feliz. These two were included in the construction collection. The Catipo and Kestrel were included in the Muscle Cars collection. The construction collection and the muscle cars collection was part of the series one of the starter packs from Jazzware. 
there were another two starter packs. If you would like to see the unboxing of the four of them, then you can go and click the link here right now. These three were originally part of the Super Cars World Pack. Something interesting I found recently about the Super Cars World Pack is the names of the cars. We have Senner, Pasofino, and Lusitano. These are actually horse breeds. Then Can Break is actually the name of a horse camp in US. Then we have Quetzal. I was trying to find a reference that would link this name to a horse, but I couldn't. If you have some information, I would really appreciate that you put it in the comments down below. The tow truck was part of the Micro City World Pack. These three were part of the Fire and Rescue World Pack. If you would like to see the unboxing of the three world packs then go to the link that is popping out right now now we are going to move to the cars that were not released in the single blind packs in the starter parks or in the world packs they apparently were included in some other places these three i got them also in the new super van city playset Another version of the Condor released also in the Muscle Car Starter Pack. And finally, we come to the exclusive ones. The Bezel is an original sport car that seems to have a rear engine. I have another Bezel that was also included in the Supervan City. This version of the Pasofino seems to have a racing livery. The whole design for me seems to be a hybrid between a Ferrari and a Lamborghini stock. As I said before, there's another Pasofino in the Supercars World Pack, and I have another that was included also in the Supervan City. Simple, smaller, boxy and a little bit of a different size to have a more accurate scale versus the other cars. Besides the blue version of the Super 20 pack, I have the white from the Micro City World Pack. The Hogno seems to be inspiring a four-wheel drive all-terrain SUV. It's a design that was included only in the single blind bags of the Series 1. The livery of this version gives it kind of a desert rally look, with the blackout wheels, number on the side, and the X in the back. The MCPD, or Micro City Police Department, has this classic livery for the police cruiser in black and white. I have another police cruiser, also included in the Supervan City, in blue with white accents. Now, if you look closely, you realize that the police cruiser is the same car than the Catipo, with some differences, of course. The police cruiser has the light bar in the front and the siren on the top. And also the air intake has been removed from the hood to give it a more stock look. Now we open the pack, we gave a look to the cars and we compare them with other cars from the Series 1. And we come to the Verdi. Is it worth it? It depends. If you already have the Series 1 sets, Maybe not, because the cars are not a new design, they just have some new liveries. So unless you really want the exclusive versions in this pack, then I will not recommend to buy it. And yes, because if you don't have any of the other sets, then this one with the 20 cars is kind of a really nice introduction or we, how we can say a summary of all the series ones, because you have the muscle cars, you have the sport cars, you have the city service, you have also the fire and rescue. So it's a really nice, let's say, overview of the whole series one. But in my case, for example, I only bought the pack for two cars. The police cruiser, of course, the design of the police cruiser and the Hognos. I thought that these designs, these liveries were really cool. So I didn't want to let them buy. 
tell me what you think. Is a pack like this worth it or is it just a way to spend more money in Micro Machines? Well, as usual, before you go, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see what's next, then just push the buttons that are going to appear right below and recommend the channel. We are near the 200 subscribers, which is a small number for a bunch of uh, creators in YouTube, but it's a big number for me at the moment. So I think that that's enough for today. Thanks for being here and see you next time. Adiós.